Before going to work on your images in PhotoKey 4, you should set up your canvas. Click the Canvas Tool Set button if it is not already selected. In the toolbox, there are several options. The Canvas Settings panel controls the overall size and shape of your canvas. The Preset menu offers a variety of standard photographic sizes to choose from. For standard print sizes, just click the option that you want in the list. The Orientation buttons determine whether the canvas sits horizontally as a landscape or vertically as a portrait. The As Foreground and As Background options in the Preset menu allow you to retain the exact dimensions of one of your original images. So if I select As Foreground and then import this tall skinny image that I created, you can see in the preview there, the shape of the image. So if I import that with As Foreground selected, you can see that the canvas takes its shape from the image. So if you need to keep the dimensions exactly the same as your foreground or background, use those options in the Canvas preset menu. If you need a specific size that isn't a common standard, select the Custom option, which we will discuss in greater detail in a moment. The resolution directly affects how your images will print and how they will display within other digital documents. Since digital images are measured in pixels, before you can print an image, you need to determine how many pixels fit into each inch of the print. So in this example, a resolution of 300 dpi, or dots per inch, means that 300 pixels will fit into each inch of a printed version of this image. Now since we have as foreground selected, this resolution setting is copied straight from the foreground image, and we can't edit it. But if we select say a 4 by 6 inch canvas preset, we now have the ability to change the resolution settings. Selecting the correct resolution for your project hinges primarily on what the final plans for your images are. While 72 dpi is sufficient for internet use or displaying on a computer screen, if you will be making prints, you'll need at least 144 dpi. Many printing facilities use 300 dpi as a standard for producing high quality prints. While using the preset sizes, the width and height, while not directly editable, remind you of the actual pixel dimensions of your final image. Changing the resolution will alter the pixel dimensions, but the 4 by 6 inch actual print size is still the same. Let's go back now and look at the custom option in the preset menu. The custom setting allows you to create any size image you want. When you select custom from the menu, the width and height lines are enabled for editing, so you can enter any pixel dimensions you want, up to a maximum of 6500 pixels in either direction. The resolution can also still be changed, but with custom sizes, altering the resolution alters the print size rather than the dimensions. Since you manually assign the width and height, changing the resolution here only alters how many of these pixels fit into each inch of a printed image. So our 2400 by 6000 pixel image at 400 pixels per inch would print at 6 by 15 inches. But changing the resolution to 200 pixels per inch would make the exact same composition print at 12 by 30 inches. So the dimensions and resolution should be considered together when using the custom size option. The Make Greeting Card option creates a layout for a center creased greeting card. Ticking this box turns the canvas into the front half of a bifold card layout, with the back of the card indicated by a dotted line to the left, as you can see here. After finishing your composition on the front, you can then print the card or export the file for later printing, and it gives you an outline along this line to trim to to create the card later. Then simply fold the card down the center and it is ready to be filled out and sent off. The Canvas Color tool allows you to quickly fill the background with a solid color. Click the Use Color tick box to activate the tool. To select a new color for the background, click the Change button to access the color wheel. You can change any of these Canvas settings at any point while working on a project, but keep in mind that any alterations you make to the Canvas settings might require that you reposition your images as well. It's always more efficient to set up your canvas before working on the details of your composite. Thanks for watching this look at the canvas toolset.
Our next video will discuss importing images into your PhotoKey 4 project.